Hello friends, family and esteemed colleagues. More and more we are aware of a toxicity that brings with us medication. The medication that we are being given, prescribed by doctors, it's highly toxic and basically medicaments are toxic elements, same as medicinal plants. And through toxicity, they suppress certain chemical processes in our body and uh, may um, suppress symptoms which make us create a discomfort in our body, like pain, for example, swelling. Now, how many of you are aware that the supplement industry is basically harmful the same way or similarly to pharmaceutical industry. This is why even the pharmaceutical industry now is having sections of um, products which are natural. Well, let's make it clear. If it comes in a bag, it's not natural. And um, although supplements are not as harmful, they could be. But what bothers me more than this is the false advertising and how they, through false advertising, create a market, market. And people spend tons of money thinking that they are doing healthy things when actually they are compromising their health. Um, lately, whenever I watch something on YouTube, if I'm going through channels which I trust, advertising comes, you know, there are not many medicaments advertised, but supplements. And uh, in particular, now I'm focusing on BioTrust because the word BioTrust, trust us. Oh, we, we are good, we are not poisoning you. We are helping you to be healthy. Well, they are poisoning you, but are not as bad as uh, uh, would be with medication. But worse than that, they are stealing your money by lying to you. Product that is now very much advertised, one of the products, is the Keto Elevate. Now, more and more people are being aware that carbohydrates are a problem for our health. They create problem. And they are going on a low carbohydrate diet, thinking that they are going into keto diet, ketogenic. Well, this is not true. You see, to be in keto mode, indication how many ketones do you have in your blood is not indicator of your ketogenic state. Your ketogenic state is when your cells basically start utilizing fat as energy uh, depot. How do we do that? How do we change the biology of cell? How do we reprogram the cell from using a sugar, glucose, into using fat and producing ketones? From ketone, then, it starts producing energy. Well, normally, when we are babies on mother's milk, the babies are in keto state. When we are fetus in 
womb, our bodies are in keto state because the energy is being produced by uh, through mitochondria by utilizing fat. The fat that is in the body designated for energy production or as an energy storage to produce energy is we call it triglyceride in English, triglyceride. Now triglyceride, it's a glycerol with three as, uh, fatty acids on it. So the glycerol brings, circulates through the blood in a, a form of, with the glycerol, with, with these fatty acids, in a form of triglyceride, it circulates through the body, and then when cell needs energy, it absorbs it, then it strips the fatty acids, and in what we call the Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle, it converts them into ketones, and then from ketone, it further produces, converts them into the energy, electric energy. Now, how do we switch from sugar into ketone again, how, from sugar into fat? Basically, stop eating glucose stop eating carbohydrates because your body produces glucose that it needs and always has glucose in the blood in low levels we call it levels below the radar if the levels are below the radar the sugar is not going to be absorbed into the cells and if cell needs a molecule of sugar it is going to send a transporter, glute, that will attach glucose on it and bring it into the cell and usually does it because it needs to create proteins. So, normally our body, our cells are not programmed to use glucose as energy source. This is told completely contrary to what we are being told in school. Okay, in school we say, well, they are, we, this is why we have uh, always um, sugar in the blood. No, we have sugar in the blood because we have to make nucleic acids. Base of nucleic acids is sugar and nucleic acids are base of proteins. And when cells need sugar, it sends GLUT, so there is no need for insulin. Only if the sugar levels go above the radar level, they are now being recognized. Well, immediate reaction is body produces insulin, shoots it in a stream to relax the cells, membrane of the cells, so the sugar can penetrate. Normally it doesn't do it when the sugar is below radar. And since body by itself never produces unless it is in stress. In normal circumstances it never produces, never puts more sugar in a blood than that stays below the radar level so there is no need for insulin to be injected and when how does the cell get energy from triglyceride and to be able to produce enough energy it has to have a lot of mitochondria so you can have cell with 2000 3000 up to 4000 mitochondria depending how much energy it has to produce 
uh, neurons have the most mitochondria up to 4,000 because brain is very energy hungry it is going to have a lot of mitochondria but once when we start eating glucose the blood levels jump up above the radar right away it gets absorbed and insulin has to be produced like we are, when we are in a stress just to force the cells to absorb it and then when the cells receive this glucose that they don't need then basically they are going to use it for energy but when they do it energy is produced rapidly so very quickly energy or the cell gets charged and if too much sugar starts coming in and this is when we increase the sugar absorption slowly by daily eating carbohydrates forget about what we are being told sugar it's not just the white stuff on the table it's every carbohydrate which is released when you heat plants because normally in nature glucose is trapped but let's leave this part I always get sidetracked because we have all our knowledge is the garbage that we receive in a school so you know I, I have to go and explain from the basement all the way up to a first and third and fourth floor but you want to know about glucose and how it works and why do we have diabetes check my videos on this go check my articles read my book but when we call when we talk now about ketogenic state the only way you can get into ketogenic state is stop providing glucose stop providing sugar so when sugar levels stay below radar blood sugar levels then the cells will not be able to use it for energy and it will start using fat triglyceride of course if you are glucoholic if you are eating carbohydrates then you first have to reprogram your cells how do you do it but stop eating carbohydrates when they are not available first you are going to be starving because you you don't have enough active mitochondria so you have plenty of triglycerides in the blood but your cells cannot produce enough energy because there is not enough active mitochondria and because it is so dangerous you can burn the cell you can destroy it for if you overproduce electricity so body is going to wait cell is going to wait 24 hours for for glucose if it doesn't come it will start slowly activating more and more mitochondria so it can produce energy so the first day you can when you stop eating carbohydrates you can even go, become hypoglycemic because you bring the cells in a stress situation that if you are working normally when there is not enough electricity not enough energy you feel tired and you go sleep but if you have to work and cells do not have enough energy now you are putting them in a stress situation and they will produce stress hormones just to tap into glycogen break it down separate the glucose from protein and here comes glucose that they can use for energy because they are stressed they're producing cortisol they're producing steroid and since um, the state becomes stressful state of the body uh, even liver is going to be now transferring the uh, uh, transferring uh, the, the pr production of glucose breaking breaking glycogen and liver is the only one that can actually after it breaks glycogen it can push the glucose into bloodstream because you have glycogen in your muscles and in your brain 
but what is in the cells stays in the cells. What's in the vega stays in, stays in the vega, vegas. What is in the cells stays in the cell for its own particular use. But liver has the possibility, ability to push the glucose into the blood. So in a stress situation, the levels, sugar levels in the blood increase. And this is why body starts squirting more insulin. So now the cells can have benefit of the sugar for more energy. This is only in stress situation. But if we are not in stress situation, this doesn't happen. So the first day, you may bring yourself in a stress situation. If you have to do work and you are underpowered and there is no glucose. Second day, you will have way more mitochondria active. And third day, you will be fine. All the necessary mitochondria will be active so you can produce amount of energy necessary from your fat, from your triglyceride. And now you are in ketogenic state because your energy is being produced not from glucose but from fat. This is ketogenic state. It is not how many ketones you have in the blood. The only difference is how many ketones, what, what uh, is benefit of having more ketones in the blood is that more ketones you have in the blood, the less hungry you are. So you don't look for food. You are not hungry. It's hunger suppressant. And when you have a fraudulent companies like BioTrust, or I call them BioFake or BioDistrust, because all the products, as they advertise them, they are advertising them on very false pretenses. Now, they are telling you that their product is going to keep you in this ketogenic state. And you can even eat carbohydrates if you are using their product and you will be in ketogenic state. Bologna, it's a lie, pure lie. But people don't understand, and they buy the crap. Buy five eggs. Now, they say that their package has MCT8 oil, and this is the best to produce ketones. Another lie. It's a fat ass lie. The best thing to produce ketones is what your body produces, is a three glyceride. What is MCT oil? A lot of people don't even know. They just, oh, MCT, oh, that's good. Oh, it has, the, the, the coconut has it. Wow, coconut oil, wow, this is good stuff, but this is better because BioTrust tells you, trust us, I'm doctor so-and-so, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. He's a schmuck. Liar, okay? MCT, medium chain triglycerides. M, medium, C, chain, T, triglyceride. Well, triglycerides you have in your body. This is what your body produces. This is what your body, this is how your body disperses and transports fat that is designated to be used for energy production. And your body produces it even from carbohydrate because the glucose that your cells cannot burn, body cannot deposit because we don't have deposit on sugars because we are not running on sugar. We are running on fats. So sugar left over, that body doesn't know what to do will be either urinated or liver is going to convert it through the same Krebs cycle into fat. And then from fat, it will bond it into with glycerol to produce triglyceride so it can send it out of the liver into the bloodstream and into adipose fatty tissue to store it as a fat for use because it cannot store it as a glucose. 
all glycogen that we have is being produced by the same cells where it is stored because only they can use it and it's only in muscles and only in brain tissue and liver as general donor everything we are told in the school is a bunch of lies everything and this is why doctors are so confused this is why when I came from medical school I knew nothing I had to start searching and learning and experimenting on my own and then nobody wants to hear the truth because then you are enemy of the scientific circles everybody is hiding behind their diploma and their title titles and diplomas are worth scraps of worthless scraps of paper because they just show everybody that you are brainwashed schmuck nothing else that's why you don't see any diplomas here so your body is producing the best possible triglycerides and this is why it's producing it specially to be used for ketone production for production of energy and then if we stay on this fat based diet with zero carbohydrates in it then what happened is that access the cell always produces more ketones that it immediately is using because ketone you can say it's like a, mm, a repackaged produce ready to be used so production of energy from it is much faster than from triglyceride because triglyceride first glycerol have to be stripped of, of uh, fatty acids then the fatty acid has to enter the cycle and be converted into ketones before the ketone can be then used so cell is already stashing up a little bit of prepackaged ketones now if it stashes sufficiently some of the ketones slip into bloodstream and more ketones you have in a bloodstream the less hungry you are and this is why for example bear and uh, wolf in the nature but especially we can talk about bear bear is not overly aggressive during spring and summer because even if he doesn't eat a lot the blood has a solid level of ketones in it and it doesn't feel hungry and the whole day it's uh, scavenging for food and it eats a little bit here a little bit there and it has always enough fat going through and it's not hungry but when fall comes and fruit ripen then when bear eats because it's omnivore like we are omnivores so when it eats fruit now the impulse the frequency of sugar comes in now the sugar is fructose our cells will not use fructose so when it's absorbed it doesn't stimulate production of insulin and this is why level of glute doesn't raise which means no matter how many fruits we eat we are not going to be increasing absorption of sugars we have a small level of glute just available so the cell can get enough glucose to create proteins and it doesn't need more so when we receive glucose or any kind of a sugar through food only a small amount will be absorbed but if fructose is up available this absorption never increases but if glucose comes becomes available for absorption now insulin is created for this glucose to be pushed into the cells and now we start producing more and more of glut transporter and we start absorbing more and more sugars from intestines but again 
when we talk about keto and ketogenic state, as soon as sugar comes, even fructose, now the cellular metabolism increases and cells use now the ketone, which is in the blood also. The level of ketone in the blood goes down and we become hungry. This is why a bear, as soon as it starts nibbling on fruits, on berries or apples, pears, it starts to feel hungry and becomes aggressive. Always be aware of bear in autumn. Same as with us. You eat fruits, you'll be more hungry. You will be more hungry. If you are not carboholic, if you are sticking to keto diet. But keto diet is nothing more than normal protein diet, protein-based diet with no glucose. As soon as you start eating glucose, then this packaged keto plus or whatever this fraudulent bio fake company calls it is not going to increase level of ketones because this is nothing more than proteins which are being there or fats which are being there packaged and again you don't absorb these fats the way they are being packaged when you eat them even from this bag when you eat them what happens? Triglyceride is not being absorbed as such. You are absorbing amino acids. And then your body is bonding them, either producing triglycerides or if there is necessity for cholesterol, it is going to produce cholesterol from the same packaged stuff that you are receiving under impression that you are eating ketones. It's all fake and it is all lies and it drives me crazy and has to be exposed. I don't mind people making money selling product, but at least be honest about it and explain what it is and what it does. But if they tell you truth, then why would one eat that powder if you can eat egg or piece of chicken or fish you have way more benefits doing that than eating this processed powder fatty garbage so the truth is always opposite of what we are being told and whenever somebody tells, oh, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Don't trust nobody. Don't trust me. Just use your brain and think about it a little bit. And learn. Learn what is triglyceride. What is this medium chain triglyceride? Those are medium chain fatty acids not medium chain triglycerides, medium chain fatty acids which are then being pushed on glycerol and then being absorbed into the cells. Medium chain gets absorbed quicker than large chain. Medium chain has about 8 carbons, large chain 10 or 12. The larger chain, the more difficult it is to be absorbed, but don't worry about it, body will absorb it. N problem is not absorption. Problem is the ability of having enough mitochondria to produce enough energy so body does not need to go into a sugar or, or starve for energy. And this packaged garbage doesn't help you anything with this, and it is lie when if you are under impression, if they put you under impression, oh, you can have a little of bread, you can have a little pasta, you just eat this powder shit that we send you, and you are going to be in keto mode. It's a lie, pure lie. Excuse my language.
But these are fraudsters, and we have to realize whom we are dealing with. All lies and deceit. Well, start using this between your ears. We call it brain. Use it. Don't just memorize and spit. Don't just read and repeat. The internet is full of, of these parrots. They just repeat, repeat. Oh, I know everything. I've read it. I heard. I've read it. He said so. My professor said a lot of things, all stupid garbage and all stupid lies, because they just read the same books which are being pushed to brainwash us. Time to le learn truth. Well, I hope you benefit from this. Thank you. Love you all.